Hey everyone, welcome back to Career Sync. If you are preparing for cognizant offline interview in 2025, this video is for you. Today, I will share the most recently asked interview questions for the role of Gen C, Gen C Pro, and Gen C Next, along with the quick tips to help you answer them betterly. Also, this PDF will be available in our Telegram channel, so you can get and download it for your interview preparation. So let's start with candidate one. So the first question he was asked is introduce yourself. So keep it structured. Talk about your background skills and experience in one to two minutes. Explain your projects and your role in them. So mention your tech stack, key contribution and impact in simple words. Third question is describe the backend architecture of your project. Be clear how your data flows, API handling and database usage. Which Java version do you use and what are its key features? So mention the version, key updates like Java 8, Lambda and Streams and why you use it. How does HashMap handle null values and duplicate? Null keys are allowed once, but null values can be multiple times. So know the internal working and tell them betterly. Write a C++ program to check if a string is palindrome. This question is asked uh, for the C++. So you have to answer this properly because in his resume, he has mentioned two languages like Java and C++. So you have to answer it. Now write an SQL query to find third largest salary from the employee. So use limit offset and prepare different approaches to solve this question. What challenges did you face in your project and how did you overcome them? So highlight a real problem and how you solved it. Don't be a generic and may don't make it problematic. So now the question is problem solving scenario. If something must happen, what should uh, what solution would you provide? So think logically and provide a structured approach, just not just an answer. It should not be like that. It is uh, uh, scripted. So how do you include JavaScript in your HTML file? This question. So mention inline internal and external scripts with real examples. Now, situation-based question, if a client requests a last minute changes, how would you handle it? So show adaptability, prioritize requirements and communicate feasibility. Now the next question is what algorithms have you used in your project? So explain why you use the specific algorithm like BFS, DFS and with examples which helped you in the real world problem solving questions. So do you have any question for us? So always ask one to two question about the company culture, role expectation and growth opportunities in the company. It will make a good impact in the interviewer. Now let's move to the second person. Now, the second question was, tell me about yourself. So keep it concise and tailor it to the job role. Also, what is the difference between function overloading and function overriding? So it happens in the same class overriding happens in inheritance and mention the key rules, whatever you have no. Now the third question was, what do you mean by operating system? Give a simple definition and mention types like batch, real time and distributed operating system. Fourth question is, tell me about your project. So focus on problem solving and the impact of your project. Avoid too many technical details. So now the next question will be, what are the pillar of hoops? Make sure to prepare this question very well. Every In every interview, they ask this question. So this is very important question. So tell them about encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism and explain the real, explain it with them, real world examples. Now, why do you want to join Cognizant? So talk about learning opportunities and uh, company culture and with uh, their growth potential, which can help you to grow professionally and personally. Also, now last question was, are you willing to relocate? So if say yes, Say it confidentially. If unsure, explain your preferences. That's it. Now going to the third candidate. So the third candidate. So the first question is same and everyone like tell me about yourself. So we will skip this question. Now the second question was asked in the basic questions of C++ like pointer concept and hoops concept with example. So be, be ready for the questions on memory allocation like new, delete. They can ask in this also virtual function and oops principle we have discussed. Yes. Now write a program to check if a number is prime or not. 
so use efficient method check divisibility also instead of brute force approach you can tell them the approach that you want to say them now what is a dictionary this question is asked because he also mentioned python in his resume along with the c++ so explain dictionary in python the key value pairs hash table structure and fast lookups whatever is mentioned in your resume they will ask you now explain a project in detail so use a structure format like the problem the solution tech stack challenges and impact in the real world now the sixth question was what skill set are you currently working with mention languages framework database and tools you are proficient in seventh question was explain joins and their types so know the inner left right full outer and join with examples now write a sql query to join two tables so be ready to explain how foreign keys work and optimize queries for the performance you should they will ask queries during the interview so be prepared for that of this also now for the fourth candidate so the first question is same and the second question is also same because they they will ask everyone ask about introduce and your project so make sure to answer these very properly so talk about the problem it solves and the technology used in the project and third question is write a program to remove duplicates in an array so uh, you can use hash set in java or order set in c++ or dictionaries in python for the efficient solutions in different languages now what are list so explain array versus list in different languages mentioned array list in java list in python so in in whatever language you want to explain you can explain them now what is inheritance so give an example with a base derived class and mention access specifiers now what are the pillars of hope so explain each with real world examples be confident and clear in this question because it is asked for for every interview they will ask you this question so what are your strength and weakness so mention your strength relevant to the job and weakness with a plan for improvement in that problem so this is the candidate fourth interview questions we will be moving towards the fifth one now it is a it is for gen c pro students so we will be discussing in brief so introducing yourself make sure it aligns with the role that you are applying for also write the no, write the code to check whether a string is palindrome or not so use two pointers and recursive approach for the optimized performance uh, if you use a different approach where the time complexity and the space co complexity will be uh, more so they will ask you to write the code twice in the better approach so make sure to write the in the first attempt you write in the better approach so write a squ query on joins with three tables so be ready to join the query using inner join left join or right join in any case what they will ask you so what are the types of joins so explain inner join left join right join and full outer joins with diagrams or whatever they ask you so what are the activation functions so talk about relu sigmoid and where there they are used in deep learning so make sure to uh, write uh, write and explain them properly and if you don't know the questions then make sure to prepare it well for everyone now explain tcl in sql so tcl includes like commit rollback save points so explain these with examples now what is cnn convolutional neural network so explain layers filter and real world applications like image recognition and the real examples that you should explain now its question is explain the backend architecture of your project be ready to talk about apis database and server side logic now what do you know about cloud technology so mention aws azure google cloud and their key features if you know anything about them so it will be better for you now the 10th question was situation based how would you run a marketing campaign in a rural area so think about low cost high impact strategies like digital and offline promotions which will suit you better now are you ready to relocate so if yes answer confidently if not provide the valid reasons that you want to know i will say that probably say yes saying no in an interview it will make you go forward to the rejection phase so don't say no to any question 
So these were the these are the latest commies and interview questions for 2025. Practice DSA and SQL Java and problem solving scenarios for a strong interview performance. So if you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe to Career Sync. And for more job updates and interview guidance, see you in the next video. Also, I am conducting a free mock interviews for the students who are preparing for cognizant Gen Z roles. So DM me in, uh, direct message me in my tele Telegram channel. I will conduct your interview by scheduling it in a proper time. So thank you for watching this video and also join our Telegram channel. We will be sending the proper interview questions in the group. Thank you everyone.